that. I feel like of all the places we've gone so far, this is like the first place that I'm like, I could live here. <laughs> this is the conclusion of our first Italian road trip. We made previous stops in Verona, Venice, Florence, and Tuscany. To finish it off, we're staying in the most charming, beautiful town of Verena. Verena is a small, romantic town in the center of Lake Como, with gorgeous cobblestone streets, local eateries, and unbeatable views across the lake. With its central position in the middle of the lake, there's plenty to do on the water and in the neighboring towns. We hope you'll stay tuned and fall in love with Verena just like we did. Hello and welcome to the third and final part of our Italian road trip. Sad. But anyway, we are going from Florence to Lake Como today and I'm very excited to see Lake Como because I feel like it's I don't want to say it's one of the lesser known cities because it's definitely popular and especially like a lot of celebrities will go there to vacation and stuff. So it's not like a hidden gem About per se. we went there. Am I right? I know. You know us. Um, I don't know. I do feel like it's not something that's on everyone's itinerary when they come to Italy. So I'm excited to experience it and see what it's like. And um, we're staying in a little fishing town called Verena, which seems like it's gaining popularity um, more and more with social media because people have kind of discovered that it's like a great spot to be in. But I think it's still less known than like Como or Bellagio. So I'm excited to see what downtown Verena looks like and feels like and tastes like and all the things. We're currently in search of a uh, castle, and uh, we have not found it yet. But uh, we'll see, we'll see if we can find it. It's beautiful down here though. We didn't end up finding the castle until our last day here, so make sure to stay tuned to see it at the end of this video. What were you just saying, Shelby? I was saying that we're gonna get gorgeous legs, because he was complaining. I'm not complaining. About, yeah, you were like, this is gonna be so hard to walk up later. Yeah, I mean, it is. That's called complaining. I was just stating a fact. No. <laughs> At least the view is nice. For dinner that night, we found a restaurant in town called Il Cavatappi. We got so lucky with this place because the inside is almost always fully reserved, but the four or five tables outside are first come, first serve. The restaurant opens at 6.30 and we arrived just a few minutes before and claimed the last open table in the courtyard. The prices were super affordable and the food was all so delicious. We fully recommend. This green is just so good looking with this place. Oh. Like, look at the, that pink. Look at the green. That are surrounding oh. us. I got the perfect color. That's what matters, your phone color. <laughs> it is a rainy, blustery day. Blustery. In Verena. On our second day here, it rained basically all day. But that was all right with us because we had already planned on having a work day at the hotel. Luckily, the rain cleared up enough for us to go into town for dinner. We found a restaurant on the water and ordered some bruschetta de split, as well as a couple different pastas, of course. After dinner, we heard about a jazz show that was going on in town and we really wanted to check it out. But when we got there, we found that the jazz was a bit more experimental than we thought. 
have a listen and tell us what you think of it. Why are you up so early? Because I'm getting ready for the day. Hmm. Shelby's only up when she's excited to go somewhere. True. When she has her own agenda. <laughs> she's usually never up this early when it's my agenda. <laughs> Picking up my outfit for today and uh, it's going to be very fitting to wear these because... You're uh, showing those? Um, because we're going to be going to a very special place for that guy right there. We're taking the ferry to a town called Leno, which is home to Villa del Balbinello, which is... You gotta stop making up words. One of the most renowned villas in the area. And you might know it from a couple very um, well-known films that have been shot there. So... We'll show you where those are later today. And then we'll hang out in a town called Bellagio, which is a very well-known town in the area. Lots of celebrities like George Clooney like to vacation in Bellagio. So we'll be there for lunch and then we're gonna catch, oh, catch our boat reservation. One of those cute little wooden boats is gonna take us around the lake and show us some of the highlight villas from the water. And then we're gonna head back here. Is that short enough for you? Perfect. Okay. Not too long, not too short. Like a woman's Just... skirt? Just <laughs> short enough to keep things interesting? <laughs> sure. <laughs> it's been a while since I've heard that one. <laughs> Always... The worst was that um, one of my friends was asking her, maybe she's watching this, I don't know. She was asking our teacher in high school if her paper was the right length. And he used that phrase, he was like, you want a paper to be like a woman's skirt, not too long to make it boring, but short enough to keep things interesting. And she was wearing a skirt and she felt so uncomfortable because this man was creepy. Anyway, it's my story with that saying. <laughs> <laughs> she was like scarred. Gives a whole new perspective to it. <laughs> Taking the ferry from Verena was so easy. You just want to get down to the port about 20 minutes before the ferry takes off, just to make sure you can get a ticket. The schedule is online on several websites, it was super easy to find. The tickets weren't too expensive and I think we got a full day pass so we were able to go across the lake as many times as we wanted in one day, which ended up being a better deal than each individual ticket. What are your thoughts so far on Lake Como? It's uh, one of those places you could probably take a lot of pictures of and never really see it. Mm. It's very, very gorgeous. Would not mind having some property here. Mm. After a quick breakfast at a local cafe, we started the hike out to Villa del Balbianello. You can also pay for a boat transfer to the villa but we heard that the hike was really beautiful, so we figured we'd do that instead. What kind of name is Balbianello anyway? <sighs> Bet that kid got bullied. <laughs> Which isn't right. Yeah, no but bullying. We do not support. Truth. We don't support bullying here. Keep in mind though, this walk can take about 40 minutes and it's a bit uphill. So you want to leave some time before your ticket to the villa and also make sure to bring comfortable walking shoes. We have arrived at Villa del Balbinello. Are you enthused? No, I mean to me. Consider me enthused. <laughs> We've still got lots to see. We're just doing the garden tour because unfortunately the Interior tour was already sold out. We didn't have as many schmackos as we wanted to. Too few schmackos. 
but the gardens are unreal. So we're still looking. They're very real. Don't get Shelby wrong. They're very real. Villa del Balbianello was originally a Franciscan monastery built in the 13th century, but it was converted into a villa in the late 18th century. Over the years, it's become popular for tours, weddings, and some movies you've probably heard of. One of those being the 2006 Casino Royale, the first installment of the new James Bond series. In the movie, James spends some time here, healing up after a fight in what would appear to be a recovery center. Actually in this very area, you may recognize it as the area where James Bond um, recovers in Casino Royale. Such a good movie. What's it supposed to be? A sanatorium? I don't know. Okay. Well, but sanatorium sounds like a fun word, so let's go with that. <laughs> True. They made it look bigger in the movie a little bit, this area, just because I think they used, what did you call it? They just used a wide angle and then... That's not what you called it. Well, they also used probably a crane or a jib or something. A jib. Jib was the word I heard. Um, yeah, they probably used like a crane to get a view um, farther than where we can go. So it, they made it look a lot bigger. But pretty neat. We're going to try to find one last spot while we're here. I was telling that a little bit ago that I feel like of all the places we've gone so far, this is like the first place that I'm like, I could live here. <laughs> like this, this area, not necessarily this villa, although I wouldn't say no to living in this villa. <laughs> but um, just the whole area around Lake Como, like I could, I would love to live here. It feels so comfortable and beautiful, like everywhere you look and not like overly touristy, at least right now, which is wonderful. I love it. New favorite place. Do you want to live here with me? Uh, sure. Sounds good. Taking that as a yes. We have arrived at the other famous filming location here. Specifically, Star Wars fans might get a kick out of this location. You may recognize it from, which one is it? I think it's Just episode the, the three. The way you're narrating is fantastic. Why? Star Wars fans might get a kick out of this. <laughs> it's like, what? What do you, you want me to say? Are you like on if you're a fan of something? Star, if <laughs> what is? No. If you're a Star Wars fan, pay attention <laughs> because this area was used to film. Which one was episode three? We're actually on the planet of Naboo as we yes. speak. Uh, we've gone. Swiss Airlines has a, a trans-galactic flight that goes from LAX and then it takes you all the way over to Naboo, which is, I don't, I don't remember how many light years, but um, we've been stuck in cryostasis for a long time and uh, this is the first time we've walked around in months actually. Um, all these videos will come out years later, obviously, because of uh, how that works. Mm, I see. But, uh, but we didn't age. Yeah, all. we made it. We made it to Naboo. Actually, it's crazy. The the atmosphere in Naboo is exactly like Earth, so we don't need to acclimate at all. We can just start breathing like that. And uh, so we we somehow we got into the princess's palace, which is like that's crazy in and of itself. Like, how does that even happen? And. Uh, so we made it to where, uh, what's his name, kissed, Anakin. what's her name? You know all of that and you forget their names? Uh, yeah, yeah. Anakin, Hayden Christensen, Anakin that guy. and Padme. And, uh, and then they uh, did it right over there. Um, I, I, I don't remember if they did it, but they kissed right over there. Well, then they got married up there, so. Oh, dang, okay. Right? Oh, that's right, and R2 and, uh, What's his name? C-3PO? Yeah, the gold oh, guy there? that you got the big hats for. Love C-3PO. He's on your underwear too. It's the weirdest thing because it's like, 
Why does Shelby have the hots for a robot? I just think he's great. <laughs> it's white. Um, all that to say, it's going to be a long flight back, so wish us luck. <laughs> and uh, we really we wanted to come out here for you guys to really show you the, the 411 of what's going on in Naboo. So enjoy. I have to make a confession on here real quick. I don't know if you even know this, <laughs> that I am specifically wearing a green dress in honor of Vesper because Vesper wore a green dress when she visited here. And I wanted to channel her in her honor. Right before she betrayed James Bond. Hmm. We just finished at Bobbinello and we decided to take the long way back. The road less traveled. I don't know why we chose to do the long way back. Because we got a drone shot. <laughs> That's true. Um, so we are on our way back into town, but it might take a little while. Life's a little more interesting when you take the road less traveled. challenging because you got to look fly for Naboo. Oh, also at the same so time you uh, got to have some traction on your shoes because you're doing so much walking. After lunch we had a semi-private boat tour scheduled but we had to take a ferry to meet it. The ferry was 15 minutes late, but thankfully the boat tour waited for us. Still, it's worth noting that Italian ferries are not always on time. We booked our shared tour through Bellagio Water Limousines, and we chose the highlights of the lake one hour tour. We even got to see Villa del Bobbianello from the water. Apparently this villa is owned by Richard Branson, and you can only get to it by boat. I guess it was also used for some of the filming of the show Succession. This is Villa Melti and its gardens. More on this in just a second. After our boat ride, we tootled around Bellagio and we decided to take a tour of Villa Melzi. Villa Melzi was built in the early 1800s for a man named Francisco Melzi, who at the time was vice president of the Italian Republic and right hand man to Napoleon. There were actually several artifacts within the building sent from Napoleon to Francisco. But what was even more impressive than that was the beautiful gardens and all of the imported plants and flowers. We are in search of castles. Matt thinks it's this way, but I think it's the other way. So you're gonna get to see which one of us is right. <laughs> <laughs> it's our last morning here and we're checking out in like an hour. And we're sad because we wanted to see this castle that this little town we're staying in is known for. And we're like right next to it. But we just didn't have time with everything else. But this morning we thought it was gonna rain so we didn't think we'd be able to, but it's a gorgeous day right now. Literally so. a perfect day with the roosters crowing. Yeah. That's where we came from. <laughs> Alas. What? We've come to the end of our journey. We did get here, but we're unable to enter. We've made a compromise. We're gonna have our uh, little electronic eyes check out the castle instead of our real ones.
uh, really just need to go pack up and get ready to leave, which is sad. So sad. But I think what we'll do is we'll pack up and then we'll go get some breakfast and then we'll leave. Spend as much time here as we can. Yes. had to say goodbye to our beloved Verena, Lake Como, and we are very sad, but we will be back, I'm sure of it. Hopefully not in too long, because I love that place. We are driving through Switzerland. It has been beautiful, but a little bit rainy and very curvy. We went the fastest way, but it was probably the least, maybe the least convenient way because we went through the mountains and it was windy roads, which I'm not a big fan of. But we've made it through the hard part and now we've got mostly highways to go. So we are officially back in Switzerland. Sad to be away from Italy, but we will be back very soon. So, ciao for now. We loved our time in Lake Como, and we're already counting the days until we can return. Make sure you're subscribed and have your notifications turned on so you don't miss the rest of our European adventures releasing soon.